Let's look at number three. A collectible baseball card is purchased January 1st, 1985 for $15, and exactly four years later it is increased to $28. So let's come up with an algebraic model of the card's value. So we know that the initial time, which is January 1st, 1985, is worth $15. We know four years after this particular date, which would be January 1st, 1989, is increased to $28. So let's come up with the rate of change. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The difference here is a difference of 13 over 4. Okay, so that's the average rate of change between these two years. So we have y equals, there's your slope, and then generally we'd say take one of the ordered pairs, plug in for the x, plug in for the y, and solve for b. But in this case, if we plug in 0 for x, 13 and fourths times 0 is simply 0, and b would equal 15. So y equals 13 fourths x plus 15. This is going to be the algebraic model. Now I can grab my graphing calculator, and I'm going to reset it here, and I have 13 fourths x plus 15. All right, now let's go and let's change our window. So we can see this is a difference right here of 7. Okay, this is a difference of 10. Let's go all the way out to 15 and do a zoom fit. So this is going to be our value of our card at any given point. According to the model, what was the card's value January 1st, 1992? So if we take 1992 and we subtract 1985, we get 7. 7 second trace value. Okay, so $37.75, $37.75, we can approximate the value of the car on this particular date. What is the value of the car? June 1st, 1995. Well, this is a difference of 10. So the whole number is going to remain at 10, but then we get this partial because it's not January 1st. It's 152 days past January 1st. So 152, how many days are there in a year? 365. And so we can assume the car's value on June 1st, 1995 would be $48.85. How many years and days will it take until the card is worth $100? So they're giving us a value. Remember, this is time, and this is the value. So I'm going to go up here and type in 100. Let's see where it crosses. I can't see it in this one. So let's go and do a zoom fit and see if we have a better view of it here. Oh, I need to go out here a ways. Let's go up to Windows, and let's go out maybe 40 years past. Oh, that's where it's crossing. Second trace intersect, so I had to adjust the window so I could see it. Okay, so when is the card worth $100? So 26.153846. What does this mean? 26 years past the initial year. So if I take 1985 and I add it to 26, we can assume in the year 2011, and now we want to know the number of days. This is a partial year. So 0 0.15 3846 times how many days are there in a year? 365. So in the year 2011 and 56, uh, we can leave it at 56, 56 days, we can assume the value of this car would be approximately $100.